co-op system is picking up those bustle signals. The muscle signals are then translated into what you perceive as opening or closing your hand. Before, I felt like I had three different types of machinery I had to operate. I had an elbow, I had a wrist, and I had a hand to operate. Now it's become one unit that works together in unison without having to think about the transition between the different parts of your arm. Um, so from my understanding, it's more like just the, the makeup of the pattern of muscles you use for each different grip and differentiating that pattern of muscles. Mm -hmm. With a co-op, there's sensors all around because each one has a different pattern to it. Are you ever worried about like making it too light and then accidentally triggering something when you go to do something else? Unintended movement is what we would call that. That's limited, it's decreased a lot because um, each motor has a movement pattern to it and it won't move until you get that one. The fact that you can just hit the button and just you know calibrate it yourself and uh, the way the software works, right, it's very flexible. So say you know, you're know you new, you start out with the calibration, you have some unintended motion, that's something that you can fix right away. And the, the calibration is flexible such that you can, you can train or add on to just one motion at a time. Do the different calibration do you have to hit like the button a different way or how so so the, the button is like a very simple way of just uh, performing calibrations kind of when you're on the go doing stuff on the fly like anywhere you want the the spot calibration that I've used has actually just been um, through the software so that's you know when you're somewhere more comfortable right you're at home mm -hmm. you're near your computer okay. um, and that's I think when it's most powerful uh, with the software, you can say, okay, my hand's like this, I'm just gonna work on just the open, right? And then it just says, okay, give me some data, right? You just provide that open signal, and then it feeds it back into the model. So it's really learning uh, and adapting to all the different things that you're doing.